Dan H, could, you, could I read your last comment? It would be interesting to get my take as a Kiwi about yesterday. Yes, I will. I'm now back into the comments. Dan H, uh, oh, I see. You tagged me here. I, I, I overlooked it up here. So I assume it's this one. I would like to talk more about Windsor. Great Britain is crazy busy with yesterday's royal funeral because they locked down, they locked down the town yesterday. It's full of jingoistic mourners today. Uh, and I have to help from my store. Uh, Dan H, I assume that's the comment that you're talking about, about Prince uh, Philip. Um, 99 years old, proof that only the good die young. Um, <laughs> I must admit, I, I, I thought nothing about the uh, royal toy boy um, until, you know, frankly, I, I, I was quite entertained, more entertained by season one, to be honest, than anything else. The, the latest season of The Crown, I, I guess there's a problem when it becomes a little bit too familiar. Um, but yes, I must admit, it's this thing about the royal family, I've, I've tweeted a lot about this. My, my general position is, is that, you know, um, I'm okay with there being a royal family, I'm okay with there being a queen on the money, and, uh, you know, the, having the Royal New Zealand Air Force and whatever, so long as we don't actually have to, like, deal with them as human beings. You know, there's this thing, and I, I think they understand this as well, this idea that, yeah, that comes across in the crown, that they... You know, it's like um, the more women's weekly articles of people sucking toes and, um, you know, uh, Prince Philip, you know, racistly insulting people and, uh, you know, <laughs> Meghan Markle saying that, uh, you know, members of the royal family are racist to her baby. And, you know, the more I read stuff like that, the more I think it's not even that I'm anti-royal. It's just I just don't want to deal with any of this. And uh, it just reminds me what a ridiculous system the monarchy is in the first place. And you pile on top of that. I mean, you know, no, 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 not to wish ill of the of the dead at all. You know, um, and of course, terrible for the queen. The, the queen is actually just about the only person I, that I like in the royal family. And the reason that I like her is that she just shuts up and does her job. And everybody else is trying to be, you know, <laughs> everyone's trying to get their face on a plate or something. I guess you don't. You know, you're 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 already on the money. Why try harder, right? that's the queen but you know i just like the fact that i just don't have to deal with her shit all the time uh and I, I if i was in new zealand at the moment and uh you know and i was dealing with a flood of uh royal flag waving uh for for, for the queen's shag basically i mean you know um, a tough thing to be right but you know i've been you know and again he, he was he was a man he deserves a funeral the queen you know should be allowed to go and mourn and so on i feel bad for that but does the whole nation have to come to a stop and do we have to have a royal thing i mean seriously uh, how far are we away from doing this for the corgis next uh and this makes me think not only is it ridiculous for the uk but why is this person the head of you know why is this family um, the head of state of New Zealand. It doesn't doesn't make any any sense at all. So you know, uh, the more the more I, they draw attention to themselves, the more uh, I want to depose them. Not not Russian Revolution style. Not like the the rest of Europe got rest, rid of the family. But that's what I liked about the Crown in season one was how aware the royal family was of the fact that oh yeah, the rest of them got shot or decapitated. Yet we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. You know, they realized the the importance of that. That was like the theme throughout, the agonizing decisions to do nothing. That's what I loved about it. Um, and that's where I feel like the whole royal thing has just gotten so pointless in the last couple of decades. Like, it's just become a, frankly, cheap entertainment. And yeah, it drives me crazy. Uh, yeah, and, and you know what? I'm sitting here in Japan, and I'm just so glad I'm not wrapped up in it. When I saw the BBC, like, third top story that, you know, tribe in Vanuatu uh, worships Prince Philip as a god, I think I actually did tweet something, and I just said, oh, for fuck's sake bbc i mean you know apart from the fact that i mean so the bbc it comes across it does come across to me most of the time as a credible you know news organization but when they start doing this and, 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 and that just to me embodied the absolute worst of the british empire of colonial mentality of british sort of um you know um I mean, they've never been held accountable for the empire, so they think that everything that they did is great. This idea of fuzzy wuzzies and grass skirts, you know, I say this, that's what English people in New Zealand, that's how they talk about, you know, native Pacific Islanders. They call them fuzzy wuzzies. It was like a thing in British TV that they'd make jokes about people talking about the colonial times and they'd go and shoot all the natives or they'd call them, you know, names like that. And it's that mentality of looking down at these people like children or animals and say, look, they worship us like gods, aren't we wonderful? Like it's a feel-good story. 
I mean, holy crap! That that to me, that's just like um, not only like one you're not treating them like human beings for a start with and on top of that they're using that as a feel-good story about the life of a pretty racist <laughs> of an openly racist but uh, i mean you know in, i'll admit he's kind of entertaining sometimes i mean he, he he's like he's like a misbehaving uncle which again when your only job is to shag the queen i mean what else are you going to be right so yeah he, he's like the uh <laughs> profane uh st steptoe and son uh he's just become the profane uncle and um you know and, and the fact that the bbc is playing up as one of his great things that a bunch of people in the solomon islands think he's a god and that they made that a story yeah that was just so cringe <laughs> that was so cringe honestly that's like shut down the bbc and uh you know f finish the finish the whole thing in my book so yeah yeah it is definitely cringe and it just points out this is just silly i mean i actually think i said Wow, I have a lot to say about this, don't I? Okay, I've got one more comment, which is that, um, in a sense, the household agency, it's the same in Japan, by the way, as in the UK. You know, this is the thing, that the royal family are like a symbol, and the job of that, you know, royal sort of agency is to make sure that they don't do anything that basically is going to get them decapitated or, uh, you know, is going to basically, you know, in the royal family, you continue it by having them act dignified and do nothing. And increasingly, you know, when they're unable to do that, you know, you start to question, well, in the end of the day, they're just a symbol. You, you might as well just about have a statue that you worship as your head of state. I mean, you know, uh, I suggested perhaps we just have a groundhog that they just, you know, hold up. And if it sees its shadow, you get to open the, the, the parliament and the Cayman Islands or someplace like that. You know, I mean, in the end of the day. Um, the royal family is like a poodle and the household agencies there just make sure it doesn't crap on the carpet in front of people that's all that they have to train it to do and, and, and it can't do that because it, it's, a, it's a dog but you know what I'd forgive a poodle more than I would forgive um, the, <laughs> the racist person uh, who, who hates Meghan Markle's baby if that's even true which it probably is but I don't care I, I, I hate that I resent that I'm even thinking about this <laughs> and I'm sure you resent that I'm talking about it. So that's what I have to share on it. Thank you, Dan H, for the suggestion. Wow, that, there's a lot. There's a lot to go there. Um, so yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I dig the Queen again. The Queen knows that she's on the money and she doesn't have to try. So uh, yes, indeed, it has gone crazy. I quite agree. Uh, that, those are my thoughts. Thank you for asking.